Hello there and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did this makeup look. This is a makeup look that I will wear when I go to work or when I'm running errands and just want to wear something easy, natural and quick. Which products I use tend to vary but the technique is pretty much the same. So if you like to see how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off by using a primer and for primer I love using a moisturizing or a glowy one. Today I'm going to be using the MAC Stroke Cream which has been a favorite of mine for a long time. I'm going to apply this using my fingers. I'm just gonna put a little bit like this and I'm going to apply it to my face. This will help me give a really nice uh, glowy base underneath my foundation and it will also moisturize my skin. I've been switching between two foundations lately and the first one is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and the other one is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown one today as I want a skin-like texture and a glowy finish. And I'm going to apply that using my Beauty Blender. I'm going to take a couple of pumps onto my the back of my hand. I'm going to dip my Beauty Blender in it and start blending it out. As you can see, the foundation gave me a light to medium coverage. The foundation does look like skin, uh, but it did not cover up all of my acne and scarring. So for that, I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And I'm going to be using that with a brush. Let me just find it. I'm going to use the 142 Concealer Buffer Brush from Soeva to apply and blend out the concealer. So I'm just tapping the product onto uh, my breakouts and my scars and I found that this is the best way to cover acne, just like tapping and blending around and not on top. So I'm just applying and I'm blending around. <music> Underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown foundation again. That's because I want a very lightweight feel underneath my eyes and nothing heavy. So I'm just going to take the foundation and apply that underneath my eyes. everything I'm using the Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent and I'm going to tap that into my skin using my beauty blender Moving on to the cheeks, I'm going to bronze up my skin using the Giorgio Armani Sun Fabric Bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. I love it so much that I dedicated a blog post to it. And if you're interested in that, I will leave a link down below so that you can check it out. I'm going to use a Soeva 101 Lux Face Definer Brush, which is a fluffy brush. I'm going to apply this bronzer to my cheeks, temple, forehead, and under my jawline. To blush, I'm going to be using the Isadora Perfect Blush in the shade Soft Coral. This is a really nice peachy blush. I'm going to apply that using my Sigma F15 brush, which is a dual fiber brush. I'm going to tap that in the product and I'm going to apply that to my cheek. <music> Now on to highlighter, I'm going to be using the MAC Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighter. This is my go-to highlighter, I really love it. I'm going to apply that using a Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush. This is my favorite brush for highlighting. <music> I 
also like to highlight underneath my brow bone and in my inner corner of my eyes and I'm just applying that I do this whenever I'm not using any eyeshadows just so that it doesn't look so flat so now I'm going to do my brows and for brows I always use Anastasia products I have the brow powder duo in dark brown which looks like this and I also have the brow definer which is in the shade medium brown and I'm going to apply the powder using a MAC 266 brush to use the brow definer I'm just going to use this to define it some more and fill in now moving on to mascara and I'm going to be using the Maybelline lash sensational mascara on to lips i'm going to be using a colored lip balm i'm going to be using the clarence instant light lip balm perfector in the shade 04 orange this is really nice peachy lip balm so that is the finished makeup look i really love wearing this look for a daily basis i really hope you enjoyed the video if you're interested i will leave all of my links down below in case you want to follow me on instagram or snapchat or anything like that and i hope i will see you in my next video bye